follow one question on that. You know, uh, as you and I both know, uh, many pastors are not talking about this particular subject of the end times or getting their people ready. And so a lot of pastors have told me, and I'm sure they've told you, hey, we don't want to talk about this stuff because it's, it's our people are afraid and we're going to lose people. Uh, what do you say to pastors and leaders who are in the Christian movement that are not talking about the end times, not talking about the things that are going on and just focused on whatever makes you feel good at this time. How, how, how do you respond to that? Yeah, uh, it really drives me crazy. Um, you know, the two, the two main messages that I have are marriage and end times. Uh, and those are the two things that many pastors don't want to talk about because they think they're too controversial. That makes people feel uncomfortable. Well, uh, about 30% of the Bible is prophecy. And most of that is end time prophecy. One in every 30 verses in the New Testament is about the return of Jesus. Uh, 24 out of 27 books in the New Testament talk about the return of Jesus. And so it is a major theme of the New Testament. It's a major theme of the entire Bible. You have Daniel, you have Zechariah, you have Joel, you have all of these Old Testament books that are very much Isaiah, very much end time prophecy books. And so to ignore prophecy is is two things first of all it's comforting when you understand what the bible says about the end times you can contextualize the things that are happening in the world right now when you see COVID, it's one of the pestilences that jesus talked about when you see all the shortfalls that are happening right now in famine uh, breaking out all over the world right now you know america we're at the top of the food pile but we're even we are experiencing shortages earthquakes volcanoes wars, rumors of wars, Iran, Israel, Russia, all the things that are happening in the world. When you understand Bible prophecy, you look at these things and you say, hey, Jesus is coming. You know, I mean, Jesus will come soon. When you don't understand Bible prophecy, this would have to be the most unbelievably terrifying world to live in. Jesus said, men's hearts will fail them for fear. That's the word phobos, the word fear there in the Greek. It means fear, it means terror. Men's hearts will, will fail them for fear and the expectation of the things that are coming on the earth. When you understand Bible prophecy, you expect Jesus. When you don't understand Bible prophecy, you expect, uh, you know, the, the most unbelievably terrifying things in the world. And so pastors have a responsibility to preach the Bible. And if a third of the Bible is prophecy, how could you possibly ignore that? And in the world that we're living in right now, people are, people are depressed. Christians are depressed. They're anxious. They're fearful. They're, they're worn out with the things that are happening. And so I, as you guys do, I preach on Bible prophecy. And I'll tell you that the people that listen to me on our endtimes.com or YouTube or wherever, people that listen to me, just like with you all the time, I hear how, how comforting it is to them. And it's, and it's, and it's gratifying to me as a Bible teacher to help people understand what the Bible says about the end times, because the world that we live in is absolutely crazy. Uh, I was talking about on one of the podcasts I did this week, I never thought that I would live to see a day when you couldn't say boys and girls. Uh, mm -hmm. Many of the public school teachers in our churches are being told by the public school administrators, they can no longer refer to their students as boys and girls. And when Paul talked about a falling away from the truth, you can't fall away from truth any farther than that when you can't even recognize there are only two genders. And so I just think that pastors have a responsibility, as Paul told Timothy, preach the word, preach the word. And how can you possibly be preaching the word when you're ignoring uh, one out of 30 verses in the New Testament and uh, the obvious, the obvious emphasis that God puts on end time prophecy? Get the books at www.troyanderson.us, www.davidjjayamona.com, and www.battle-ready.org to prepare you to recognize and counter deception not only in politics, religion, media, and science, but especially in yourself. It's available via Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Baker Book House, ChristianBook.com, Hudson Booksellers, Target, Walmart, Books a Million, Google, Cokesbury, 
Parable, Mardell and most anywhere books are sold. The Inspire, Divine Destiny YouTube channel is sponsored by the Inspire Literary Group. Where author dreams come true. And the Inspire PR Agency. The founder and president is Pulitzer Prize nominated journalist and best-selling author Troy Anderson. Find out more at InspireLiterary.com, TroyAndersonWriter.com and TroyAnderson.us. We strive for writing excellence, and exceptional work. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Matthew 5 16.